camera knows it. Le right leg back, left leg forward, like a boxing stance. Your right hand is kind of right by your chin with already tension, so it's not flinging back here. My left hand's gonna be up just for fun, and I'm gonna pivot my right foot while I punch forward and rotate my wrist so my palm is to the floor. Now we're gonna do that with speed, though. And then reason back out with speed, in with a little bit of resistance. Still a little flow to it. Pivot that right foot. My right hip is turning and my right oblique. Right leg is back, pivot, snap forward. Snap it, breathe, switch sides. Left arm back, right leg forward. Hand at your, your chin. So there should be tension in there the whole time. Don't let it fling you back. So now I'm here, bam, speed, resist back a little bit. Pivot speed, resist back. Pivot that left foot, straight forward. Turn that wrist over. Your palm starts facing in, it ends up facing the floor. It's a quarter of a turn. It's actually a 90 degree turn. Rip it out. Just a basic punch. Now we're gonna do a reverse punch. So flip around, feet are squared up. Palm is in on your right hand. Palm is to the floor. You're now gonna pull this into your ribs, so a quarter turn with the wrist, while I do a turn with my body and pivot the opposite foot, this other hand I'm bringing over the top. So right here would be full speed. Right here. It's just a reversible punch. Pivot the left foot, the band's in your right hand, the band's in your right hand, the band's in your right hand. I was talking to the boy there. Rip it back and switch to your left hand. Now you're just turning the other direction. The right hand comes up, pivot the right foot. Whatever hand is in the band, the opposite side is going to pivot. Rip it back. A little speed to this one. Dig in. All right, done. Now we're gonna do a trunk rotation. Trunk twist with, with a pivot. So I'll show you this side first. Whatever hand, whatever side you're in, all right? So when I'm this way, we're gonna go, whatever side the band is on, that's the side that has the band first, and then the other hand's gonna go over the top. Not interlocking your fingers, it's cupped over the top. So if the band is to my right, my right hand has first. That's where the control is gonna be, and I'm gonna pivot and whip it to my left. So whatever side I'm reaching to, the opposite foot's gonna pivot. Look, when I'm here, my whole chest is towards the pole, 180 degrees, pivoting the opposite foot. So whatever direction I'm reaching to, the opposite foot's gonna pivot. You're snapping down with some speed, resist it in. Flip it around, now the band and pole should be to your left. That means your left hand has it first, right hand cupped over top. When you're reaching to your left, you're gonna pivot your right foot, your head is up, your chest is out, your shoulders are back, your elbows are slightly bent. This all, look, look at my whole upper torso. This all moves as one piece. I'm never doing this. My hands are never cutting across my body because it's all moving one strong, sturdy piece. Let's do it. Trunk twist. <sighs> Trunk twist with a pivot. So whatever direction your hands are moving to, the opposite foot's gonna pivot. Head is up, chest is out, shoulders are back. All right, flip back to the first position. So the right hand had it first, left hand over top. We're gonna do trunk twist without a pivot. So now I'm here, my feet are planted. Everything is exactly the same. My torso is still moving as one piece. There's just no pivot. Go, go, go. So the pan, pan and pole should be all the way to your side. Flip it all around. Trunk twist left, no pivot. Rotate it around, twist with no pivot. Your feet are flat, feet stay flat. So think of these, these are different movements you're gonna do, whatever, different activities you're gonna do, keep it rolling. Say, done, 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 done. Say in a boxing class, if they're throwing a hook, this would be the trunk twist with a pivot, there's bam. But now they're doing an uppercut, an uppercut's not exactly so much of a pivot, it's just more of a little more in here, so it's bam, dig a little more in here with not so much of a pivot, just to think in like a boxing term. One more, anti-rotation. Same thing, whatever direction your face, the band is, that hand's gonna be on first, I'll show you from this side. You're gonna need a lot of tension in this one. You might even need a thicker band sometimes. You're gonna step far out, like that's way too light probably. If you're using the yellow, you probably need to upgrade. But whatever, just for this you don't need to. You need a lot of tension. Look, both hands in your chest, center of your chest, squared up, locked, locked in place. This should be, right now this is trying to pull you in 100%. 100%. If it's not, you need to move further away. And it's gonna push this straight forward, hold it for a second, and bring it back in. So when those arms are forward, this is trying to twist me to the left. I'm fighting that rotation right here. Head up, chest out. Don't forget, whatever direction the band is, that's the hand that's on the, on the handle first. Hold it out there for a full second while it's trying to twist you in. You're fighting that rotation. And flip around. Push straight forward. Anti-rotation, fight the twist. 
Exact opposite of the trunk twist. Dig in that side that's facing the pole. It's trying to twist in. You're fighting it, not letting it. And that's it for that round.